back beginning of October, ordered a uh, propane instant water heater through a eBay store. They, their delivery method was FedEx Ground. I received notice on the tracking number and uh, was expecting to get delivered somewhere between about the 10th and 12th of October. Well, I get a notice in my email on the 12th that the package had been delivered. And I'm going, uh, hold it here. I went, checked all around uh, our little farm out here, the deck, the forge, the storage units, uh, the beds of the vehicles, no package. So I checked the tracking number. Tracking number said it was delivered at about 4 p.m. on the 11th. And I'm going, okay, uh, that's kind of difficult because Mark was here, I was here, no FedEx delivery. So I call FedEx and tell them, I'm sorry, I searched all around the property, no package. They said, well, it could have been, the, uh, there seems to be uh, some trouble finding your location. Uh, have you checked with your neighbors? I said, let me give you a, uh, call you back in a couple hours. Went, checked with my neighbor across the road and up the road, and nope, nobody had received a FedEx package. Uh, and actually, nobody had seen a FedEx truck. So I called them back, said it isn't there, and they, they said, said, no, it got delivered to your address there in Daphne. I'm saying, look, I've checked with my neighbors. Nobody's received a FedEx package in the last several days. Know these people, they're good people, and we look out for each other. They said they insisted. So they started an investigation. Uh, they said, well, we're going to investigate. Give me a customer service representative to contact and open up a investigation, as they say. And they say, give me, give us 24 hours to investigate. This is on 12 October, or actually about 11 in the morning. So next day, I call them back, and obviously I get a different customer service rep. So I talk with them, and they're going through it, and they said, hold it. According to this, what I'm seeing here is being held in the Charlotte stage uh, terminal. I said, okay, that's interesting. Let me get them on the line. And meanwhile, they're going to try to track down this customer service rep. So I start having a conversation with the manager in Charlotte and find out they're not holding the package. The package was delivered to an address up in northwest Charlotte. Matter of fact, it's an address I, I used to live at five years ago, and I moved and I had actually not received a package at in over seven years and she says they're going to get she's going to get the driver to go back up there see if the package is still there meanwhile this customer representative has assigned this matter gets on the line and says uh, no we show the package absolutely got delivered to you and Gaffney and I'm going I just sat there let him dig his hole and I finally said I said, I was just talking with the manager in Charlotte. She tells me they delivered it to my old address in Charlotte. I really don't appreciate being told a different story. He hems and hums and actually goes to insist for over another 20 minutes that no, we delivered the package to my address here in Gaffney. And I'm going, no, you didn't. And meanwhile, him not knowing that the manager in Charlotte is still on hold listening to this and Bob said I sent a notification yesterday according to our records the driver told me the package got readdressed by somebody in Spartanburg and to deliver it to this address in Charlotte and actually meanwhile find out as part of this and actually getting into the full tracking system all this was available if I had actually been a, bit, a little bit brighter on my side this was all available online as to the details of what ha happened with the package they said they attempted to deliver it to me on Saturday the 7th okay I admit I wasn't here but they said the address didn't exist 
which I told him you know, I find interesting since not even two weeks before, I think at that time it was 11 days before, you had just delivered a package for Mark and then not even, and I realized towards the end of the conversation, four days before, you delivered a package for somebody else uh, uh, out here on the farm named Ike. So, you, you know, how did our, our address all of a sudden disappear and not exist? And, of course, they can't give me the answer. And they say, the only way this is going to resolve is file a claim. And then tell me, oh, by the way, we're not going to pay for your time and trouble. We're not going to contact the seller and tell them what happened and step up to the plate and pay for the replacement unit. So I have to go through all the eBay, PayPal, you know, and it's really not fair to this, you know, this seller on eBay. They did right. You know, they didn't mess up. They're getting penalized for it, both on their reviews. And on. Meanwhile, FedEx isn't going to do the right thing. So, look, we blew it. Here, we're going to pay for the, you immediately pay for the replacements in our records. We screwed up, and it is in their records. We screwed up and uh, pay for an expedited delivery. They're not going to do that. And I said, so they made me file a claim, which I did. Of course, I find out only the shipper is going to get reimbursed out of this deal. Not the seller, just the shipper. Not me, just the shipper. Saturday, I had to be out and about. And I uh, come home, collect the mail, and I see that X. Open it up, and there's that check for $117.02. And I've actually communicated with the seller, and they actually got reimbursed also. So FedEx did what they said they don't do. They apparently uh, figured in their ground shipping cost, their normal ground shipping cost, and added that into it. So, which was about, you know, another $27 is the. Uh, the water heater itself was only just over 90 bucks with uh, the uh, warranty program. FedEx, thank you for stepping up to the plate and fixing it. I truly appreciate it. Let's not try to do this again.